still don't understand how this happened. Dad, I told you, the bathroom floor is wet. I was putting my toothbrush back, my feet slipped, and I fell. Oh! So, Lindsay, this is your fault. My fault? How many times have I told you to wipe up the floor when you get out of the shower? It's like you get in there, aim the nozzle at the floor, and then spray it like it's a fire hose. She's right about that. You get out of the shower, I thought one of the levees broke. Lindsay, not cleaning up after yourself, not only is it nasty, but, honey, it is dangerous. My poor baby. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> It'll take you a minute to get used to that cast. I had one on my hand when I was playing football. Uh, you never know what you do with your hand until you can't use it. You can't button your shirt, you can't play video games, you open a bottle of ketchup, you have to hold it out of the shower, you can't hold a nacho. Don't get me started on the itching. And if you're itching while you're holding a nacho, it's crazy. So for the next week, I'm either gonna itch or starve to death? Okay, no, sweetheart. All right, now listen, you will itch, but... Lindsay, can you move over for your brother, please? Thank you. But I promise you, you will not starve to death because your sister is going to be here to give you whatever you need. Oh, well, in that case, Lindsay, I I'm a little hungry. Can you grab me a granola bar? Seriously? Do I look like I'm kidding? <gasps> oh, and some milk, too. I'm a little parched. <laughs> Are we there yet? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Are we there yet? Ma! Where are you going looking like you about to do the electric slide on Tom Joyner's boat cruise? If that's your way of saying I look good, then thank you. Marilyn, you don't just look good. You look amazing. Well, uh, that was the intention. <laughs> I'm going out. I just had to come by here and see how this baby broke his arm brushing his teeth. <laughs> now, sweetie, if your mama hurt you, you can tell Marilyn. You're safe now. Mom didn't hurt me. The bathroom floor is wet. I was getting my toothpaste and I slipped. Oh, wait. Kevin, I thought you said you were putting your toothbrush back. Oh, I was, but after I put it back, I was going to squeeze the tube down because it was all lumpy. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> now, I'm family, so I know that was an accident. But you do that on the streets, you're going to catch a serious case. I'm sorry. So. Who's the guy? His name is Nunya. Nunya? What is he, African? Baby, Nunya, Nunya business. Mom, we talked about this. And we are not talking about it again. I need to know who is with my mother. Now, how long have you two been going out? Long enough to know it's none of your business. What's he do for a living? He minds his own business. How old is he? 40, not your business. OK, Mary. You don't normally look like this for just anybody. You obviously like him. Ma, I need to meet this guy. Why? So you can mess it up? I don't think so. And don't you have a kid with a suspicious injury you need to be paying attention to? Okay, Marilyn, why don't you want us to meet him? I don't mind him meeting you. It's him. <laughs> Anytime I get serious about anybody, he gets all crazy and runs them off. I do not run these guys off. I'll let these guys know that if they don't come correct with you, they're going to have a problem with me, all right? And if they get scared, that probably means that maybe they were up to no good, Ma. Or it could be that you were parked outside their place of business looking like a leg breaker from the mob. That was one time. Well, it was one time too many. Now I'm out. And don't you try to follow me. And may I suggest that child not break anything else? You know what I'm saying? Oh. So cover all that up. All right, Terrence. Thanks, man. All right. But as soon as you find something out, you let me know, all right? Yes. Now, look, what's that? What's what? <laughs> May I help you? Are you Nick? Yeah. Nick, I'm Robert Barnes, and I'm dating your mother. 
I just wanted to look you in the eye, man to man, and tell you that your mother is in good hands. Now, I didn't tell you you could sit down. <laughs> you mind if I sit down? Go and sit down. <laughs> Let me ask you something, man. Aren't you a little young for my mother? Nick, I'm into women, not girls. Could I get some 20-something girl with a tattoo on her back and a purse the size of a suitcase? Yes. But I've been down that road. It ends in a shoe store. Young girls are crazy. They can't cook and they need more attention than a match left by a bucket of gas. But your mother is a grown woman. She knows who she is. She knows what she wants. If she wants me, I'd like you to be good with that. Look, I'm not trying to get all up in your business, but I just don't want her to get hurt. I understand. I'm easy to hate. You should know. You were in my shoes once. Marilyn told me that your stepkids didn't like you at first. That's because they didn't know you. Then they got a chance to know you. Turns out you're a great guy. I'm just asking you to give me the same chance. Hold that thought. Ready? She's asleep. Asleep? What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? Suzanne and I have a black tie dinner with the board of directors of the EMP. So wake her up. We gotta go. No, she told me about that. That's not for a few more days. No, no. It's it's today, the 5th at 9 p.m. No, no. It's on the 9th at 5 p.m. I know because I have to be home early. So you mean to tell me I put on this dress, hired a car, and came rushing over here for nothing? I'm sure there's still a few places open tonight that'll let you in if you don't want to waste that dress. Mm. <laughs> so, who do we have here? Gigi. Uh huh. This is Robert. Robert. My mother's boyfriend. Mother, what? <laughs> Marilyn, your mother? Yep. Oh, well, oh, okay. <laughs> Go, Marilyn. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Well, so do you have a twin brother into younger women? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm afraid I don't. Mm, I'm afraid that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Nick, I should get going. All right. <sighs> Thank you for hearing me out. Gigi, hmm. good luck. Ooh. Wow. Nick, what is up with that? Men my age aren't dating women my age anymore. They're like either into older women because of the whole cougar thing or they're into younger women because of the whole stupid thing. I mean, come on. It's like if you're a woman between the ages of 25 and 45, you are in the dead zone. And now I know why 30-year-old women are dating eighth grade boys.